separated and clean. That way you get the best results with your mix. To make sure the chair is braced, we're going to take this. Actually isn't that hard. If you just... Five minutes. Or just before you start it start to boil, then we can go ahead and take it off. Hi, and welcome to the Advanced Bone Tool Tutorial from M24 Solutions. My name is Brandon, and I'll be walking you through the Bone Tool in Adobe Flash CS4 Professional. I've already taken the liberty of preparing this project to work with. Uh, first, a brief explanation of the bone tool. The bone tool can be used basically to easily add any sort of fluent animation, animated character to any of your flash animations or projects. Uh, the bone tool can be used both with symbols or with any sort of just basic vector drawing or graphic that you want to use it with. Uh, the first thing that we're going to be working with is this woman right here. Um, you know, just a simple figure drawn in flash and I broke it down in several different symbols basically this is an illustration here of the different parts of the symbols that's broken been broken down so you can see here here each one of these are actually a different symbol and if I take the pointer tool and I click them you'll actually see that they're each a different symbol and I just pulled them together for her now on with the project here goes our girl again go to the bone tool the shortcut key is X which you can press on the keyboard or you can just go and click the bone tool to select it here once you have the bone selected, start with the first part where you want to start with. Typically I start with the neck, because if you don't start with the neck, she'll pivot from the head and I would rather her pivot from the neck. Drag it up to click the neck and drag with the bone tool to where you want to connect that, which is just where her bone would connect in her neck. Because you got to think of the bone tool as a real human anatomy. Uh, your neck connects right up here in your head, so that's where we want to drop the bone tool at for her and it's going to make those bones connect from her neck to there. Now the next set of bones I can take and I can drag down slightly to her torso. Once I drag and, select and drop right there, now these three symbols as you can see by them being selected with the blue bounding box have been selected and are all joined by the bone system. Now the next one is simply the same thing. I'm going to drag it over here but this time I want to show you something different. Now pay attention to this. Look at the bone tool. I'm clicking right now and I've dragged it a little bit. You'll see that the bone tool is black with a negative sign next to it as if you can't drop it there because you can't. Although you can't, dra once I drag it over you'll see that it highlights and turns white with a plus signal meaning I can drop it there but it's still within the bounding box of the symbol I was in. You can't have two points in a bone tool in the same symbol. The, the program won't let you do it. What it's doing is it's recognizing the overlapping symbol of the arm. And if I was to drop it within this bounding box, you'll notice that it highlights the next symbol, signifying that it connected this arm just at the pivot point, which is exactly where I want it to connect. Now I can continue dragging down until I see the bone tool turn white again. Let it go at that point. Drag it down until it gets to the hand. Let it go at that point and I'm just going to repeat that same exact process right over here. Okay, now that we have those bones connected there, next bone I'm going to do is drag down to her torso. I've already separate her torso, separated her torso from the rest of her body so it looks more fluent when she pivots and I can just drag and drop right there and then I drag it down here to her waist and making connections at both of her thighs where I've connected them already. Going down to the knees, drag and drop to the next symbol. Going from the knees to the foot, drop it there. Going from the foot to the from the other leg to the ankle, same thing we did on the other side, down to the foot. Okay, so now we have all these bones in place. Great. What's next? This is the cool part, guys. Notice when I grab her now, see, first of all, if you click away, in these two symbols, you can see they're overlapping, so we can just right click, select a line, or a range, and select center back, 
if your animations are out of order you can just re, you know bring them back bring them forward you should know that by now um now that we got all our bones in place we can simply just grab her and now we can move her it's just that easy and once we let it go wow look at that her bones are in a different place and i got a miscellaneous piece of graphic that i left here we'll just go ahead and delete that um but now you can see that her bones are in place now she's moving the way we want her to and there's all sorts of neat stuff you can do with that you can even animate it um add all sorts of keyframes to it and stuff like that it gets real fun but now to the more advanced stuff not covered in a lot of the other tutorials here on youtube okay problem 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 if i'm to grab her hand right here and i pull it way let's say we'll pull it down here and we let go of it uh oh that's not right why is her bone connecting way down there let me show you a neat thing about the bone tool undo that little thing we just did uh, if you go to select the um the bone that you're working with with the bone tool and you select that specific bone or that specific joint it will highlight around that joint then you can go to properties which has magically disappeared and I didn't realize it so we'll select windows and properties to get our property extractor back select the bone you want and if you select constrain there are two things you can do here you can select constrain and it will give you this and it will show you the rate of constraint you can add to that to you can either give it more room to move back and forth or less room and it will stop that from pivoting altogether or it will give it that degree of pivot so play around with that and see how it works the other thing that you can do is you can just deselect enable and now guess what guys the bone tool architecture is not even going to allow the animation to pivot from that point at all so if I move it up here now you notice I locked that point right there and it can't pivot but unfortunately we don't want to lock that point because it's actually a point that we need so I'm going to select that bone again I would like to select that bone again it's not working for me obviously me and the program aren't getting along right now let's magnify a little bit so we can see what we're doing it makes it a little bit easier to select the bone you're trying to get Okay, and all you, once you select that bone, all you gotta do is select enable. But you gotta get it first. It gets kind of hard to select once you deselect it. You select enable, you'll see the circle come around it. This right here is actually the bone that I wanted to um, disable right here. It makes it kind of hard to get to once you have all those bones selected. Good point, guys. Let me show you something that's gonna be real helpful for you. Select the armature layer and look at your property inspector. It just changed on us. All you got to do is select your um, style and change it from solid when you're working with something like this and just change it to line. Look at that. So much easier. Now we got rid of all those big clunky things so I can see what I'm selecting. Okay. So I want to select this pivot point right here. So I'll select it and I'll just select uncheck enable. So now she's going to move, but when she moves, notice that her arms aren't moving out of alignment anymore. So that's great stuff right there. Uh, running short on time here, we might have to do a second tutorial just to catch up with you guys let you know a little bit more about what's going on but I want to see real quick if I can cover this guy's um, regular vector arts you see I got this thing that I've already added some bones to and it's real cool all you have to do is basically take um take a blank document and this is real fun this is pretty much what you see everybody else doing and just draw whatever figure you want to draw just give him some legs real quick I'm not even going to give him a head he's the headless stick man he's the new version um, and select our bone tool okay and if this doesn't get covered in this tutorial completely make sure you check the next one because there'll be something real important I have to add to this if it doesn't make it select anything you just draw and just like we did with the symbols you can do the same thing with vector art you just drag and you drop just like that from one bone to the other he's fighting with me again Uh, okay, so that's just basically we're just going to do those parts real quick just so you can see. Yeah.